this fall, the fall of 2021, I'll be going to Rice University in Houston, and I'll be studying cognitive science with a concentration in psychology. And I picked this field because when I took AP Psychology in sophomore year, I thought, um, well, first of all, psychology is really interesting to me. And I also thought it was a really unique kind of science and study in the sense that I could apply to the people directly around me. Cognitive science is a, it's like psychology, but it's a little bit more interdisciplinary. So they talk a little bit more about neuroscience, they talk a little bit more about linguistics. And I, all in all, I think that this would be, this was a great way to kind of broaden my understanding of how the human mind works. Not only are you biliterate, you're triliterate, English, Spanish, and Chinese. Why did you get so interested in learning several different languages? They say that your language affects the way you think, the way you think things are funny, your humor, everything like that. Um, they even say that when you switch between um, languages, if you're, you know, if you speak multiple, that your personality changes a little bit. So I always think that um, there's a quote in my Spanish teacher's room that I think is really, really true that like, um, learning another language is like getting another pair of eyes into a new world. So I think that, you know, the value of learning languages really comes from the new perspectives you gain after learning that and understanding kind of how another group of people in the world think. Who is a teacher that you had along your journey in VVSD that you're going to remember fondly and why? There have been several, but I think the most, um, I guess the most influential would have been my teacher in Jonah Salk my fourth and fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Ball. And I think she was the most influential because she was really the first person who introduced me to kind of technology and how we use it in education. So our classroom had a smart board, which not all of our classrooms did. And she would, she would encourage us to use like Word documents and PowerPoints. So I learned how to use PowerPoints in like fourth and fifth grade. We started making presentations. We would type little like papers up. So I think that was a really a good introdu great introduction actually. Um, to kind of technology and how we can use it in the classroom. Tell us about a teacher here at Bolingbrook High School that you're going to remember forever because of their influence on you. So my AP Euro teacher, Mrs. Montagano, probably was the most influential here at Bolingbrook High School. I honestly, I went into AP Euro not really knowing what to expect because I, after I enrolled for the class, a lot of people told me that they kind of regretted taking it. And I was like, oh, oh gosh. Um, but I think it was probably the most fun I've had in the class ever. I just think that the way she taught, it was very organized, but it was also very like organic. It was very fluid and we would have projects that really helped me understand what the content was and made it seem less like a history class and more like a storytelling class. Take a leap into the future of 20 years and when somebody realizes that you are a member of the high school graduating class of 2021 and they ask you, what was it like to go to school during the COVID pandemic? What will you tell them? Well, first of all, obviously it was a unique experience, but I think it was a very educational experience, um, not to make any puns, but um, I think that it taught me a lot about, you know, kind of being a more independent student. Like what happens when you're not in the classroom and what happens when you don't have a teacher or someone to monitor you? and what you're learning in class. How can you take learning into your own hands? And so I think I'd say that it was, um, it was a great experience in kind of exploring the resources there are for me when I need to take learning into my own hands.